If you want to defeat the globalists and have men and or women munching at your back door, pick up a Watch Your Ass t-shirt at some black guy's Teespring store. Links in the description below. Supreme Victory! Hey, what's going on everyone? Derek Blackman here. Welcome back to another episode of Twitter Trash and... I have a lot of spicy tweets for you, a lot of stupid stuff has been going on. I mean, there's always stupid stuff going on, but uh, people are kind of freaking out extra. And I think it's because people started to realize that, oh, things aren't opening up after all. Um, it's time for me to sit back down and be much more angry about things. Like, say, when we're about three months into the pandemic. So the first thing I want to talk about is Joe Rogan is trending again he's always trending for something that he says whether it's something really old or if it's something new somebody always has a problem with his takes you know he seems to be a very problematic person but he's not he just has such a large platform that he's under a microscope and so there's always going to be a portion of people mad about something that he says and this time it has to do with video games and video games are a real problem they're a real problem. You know why? Because they're fucking fun. Addictive. And you don't, yeah, well, I'm, I have a real problem with them. And you, you, you do them, and they're real exciting, but you don't get anywhere. Right. It's like you could do, like, like martial arts, right? You could learn jujitsu. You get obsessed by jujitsu. And then three years later, you're, you're like an elite jujitsu athlete. You're like, you're entering in competitions. You're a purple belt. You're moving up. Yeah, you're doing well. Right. You're thinking, like, I might be able to open my own school one you day. You got confidence. Yeah, if I have 100 students and those 100 students are paying me X amount of dollars per month, I can make a living. Holy shit, I can have a. This would be amazing. And then you see your jujitsu school and your jujitsu instructor has all these students and drives a Mercedes and he's got a nice family and, like, that's the future. This way, you're doing something exciting and fun and you don't or you could just be playing fucking video games three years later you could be that same kid just playing video games waiting for the next this whatever the fuck game is you know next xbox game to come out and you're gonna waste your time so i'm using this out of technicality because it blew up on twitter and really i understand to a certain extent why some people are mad but at the same time i feel like if you just think about it for more than five seconds, you'll realize, oh, he's kind of talking about video games being a waste of time um, in his own opinion, in his own interpretation because of what he's done with video games, how video games were a waste of time for him, you know, because obviously he's a person that has uh, many talents, he does a lot of different things, and video games is one of those things that he got balls deep into for a while, especially decades ago playing Quake. And then he started playing Quake again, and he just realized how much, how many hours he was just sinking into it and not doing other things. So he uses an example like, say, oh, you can be to learn jujitsu or whatever, and then get to a point where you can turn it into a profitable business or something. And this is him coming from his own interpretation because obviously there's a lot of people that are profiting off of uh, playing video games. It's something that I actually first started off wanting to do, and then I got very distracted. And so you can kind of tell that he's like, oh, this is what kind of happened with me. And this is my line of thinking. And this is wh what I think uh, about video games as it pertains to myself and not to other people. Because and I think the biggest thing is, is him saying wasted time because a lot of people were offended by thinking, well, video games aren't a waste of time to me. You know, it's kind of like, say, where there's a lot of people that get value out of it for escapism just to make themselves happy it's it's therapeutic to a lot of people it's just fun very recreational so they wouldn't want to say something that they get a lot of value out of is a waste of time which you know so it's completely subjective and at the same time it's very true like say i would say most of the time it's just not a waste of time when i play video games however there's a part of me that agrees with joe because i've wasted a lot of time playing video games there's a hell of a lot of more stuff that I could be doing, but instead, like, if you look at, say, hours I've clocked into playing Skyrim over the years, it's kind of shameful. I would probably be much better at the guitar or something. Like, I could have sunk my time into doing that and learning how to, like, sweep, learning proper scales or something. Things that I still could do right now, but it's like, ah, I think I'd rather just beat Dark Souls for the 20th time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like I get it and I feel like say a lot of people that were 
replying, saying things like, you can apply this to anything, oh, this and that and this, or like, Ninja freaking out about everything. It's like, dude, chill out, man. He's just talking about how he sees it. We're on a roll talking about video games, so we're going to continue with tweets that have to do with video games. So, Ghost of Tsushima just came out last week, and a lot of people are saying great things about it. Two years ago, at E3, there was some people screeching and saying it's problematic, which was pretty hilarious. And it's kind of funny to see that returning and becoming full circle. Kotaku Post... Ghost of Tsushima being praised by Japanese critics. And Tony Choi says, I really love it when Asian Americans raise some serious concerns on an issue and white people go behind our backs to Asia to ask Asians in Asia what they think instead of actually asking us. But it gets even better. Stay tuned, I'm going to interview Germans on what they think of keeping monuments to historical racists and fascists up. One of these things is not like the others. You know why people are wanting to get opinions on Japanese critics about Ghost of Tsushima? Maybe it's because the game is based in medieval Japan. <laughs> like, what are you talking about asking Germans about things that pertain to United States history and statues and all this conundrum? That's not even the same thing, man. Guys who live like this have the best dick. Don't come at me. Guys like that have the best dick cheese because if they keep their place looking like that, they're damn well not cleaning themselves. And you know for sure they're not washing their ass. Wash your ass, you got to wash. Pick up your t-shirt right now. <laughs> so Portland's been a hot mess. Everybody knows all the chaos and, and riots and protesting and whatnot that's been going on over there. And uh, there was a photo that went pretty viral. Uh, I think it was called something like Athena something. And this girl's just sitting on the street, spreading eagle. So there's a lot of people that were embracing it, and there's a lot of people that were making fun of it. And so um, uh, this homegirl of mine, she uh, she she <laughs> she takes the photo and puts it next to a very iconic photo of a monk, you know, lighting himself on fire. What's crazy to me is how many people thought she was serious and not making an obvious troll so i just want to point that out and say kudos to um unintentionally just baiting a bunch of people into this because i don't know it was it's kind of like say i think i mentioned in one of my last twitter trashes where there was that white dude that's sitting in his car and he's trashing obama and saying the most absurd stuff anyway barack hope you're doing okay <clears throat> Just wanted to check in and say, fuck you. And then there's people that thought it was real as well. And it's like, wow, man. I <laughs> There's no hope. And Kratos killed himself. Speaking of trolls, Keemstar tweeted something out that upset a lot of people. Pokimane, 2 out of 10. Now, most people knew this was an obvious troll, but they were still really upset because of the toxicity that it brews. When you kind of say something, when you're critiquing uh, the way that somebody looks, especially when it comes to women online, obviously they have a really hard time with that. And uh, and it's also really silly because Pokimane is obviously attractive. That's why she's garnered such a large audience. So it's just him being a colossal dick. But I just want to say, like, people, if you really have a problem with the tweet like that, this is just my opinion because, you know, you could think I'm totally wrong. But I think the best way to go about this type of stuff is just to ignore it because what he wants is to you to reply and, and be a piece of shit and then he can fuck with you. That's what he wants. That's exactly what he's doing it for. So when you see stuff like that, best thing to do is just roll your eyes and then just move on so it doesn't get much traction. Now, obviously, it's still going to get some traction because he has a shit ton of followers and maybe that's the reason why he's so angry that he tweets something like that in the first place with so many followers that he has, but... I don't know, man. I just try my best not to feed the trolls. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know what's been going on between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Uh, things are heating up in court. And to be honest, in my opinion, Amber Heard is looking much, much worse. Uh, people are trying to, or at least Amber Heard is trying to paint Johnny Depp in a bad light, releasing some photos of him just passing out, which, I mean, it looks <laughs> like, why would you even do that? It's kind of like kicking a person when they're down. It doesn't really make him look bad. It makes you look worse, in my opinion. But uh, 
there's some other people that are getting involved, uh, like Kathy Griffin, who even with all this evidence that is just compiled showing how much of a shitty person Amber Heard is, she still has to protect your girl. Ladies, looking for some gratitude in the middle of a pandemic? At least this hot mess isn't going to pummel your face today. Cue the shadow fan accounts. Hashtag women supporting women. I gotta say, as far as blue check marks go, she has the absolute worst takes. Just bar none. Like Nobody else even comes close to her. She always says the worst shit. And... <laughs> I mean, she even was encouraging remember when she was encouraging doxing the 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 what was it the cat covington catholic kids or whatever and by the way that one dude is just suing the shit out of everybody just 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 gonna be sitting pretty because of the way that him and all those people were getting smeared and you know she just gets to just sit there chill like as if nothing happened this is not right this is not cool this is fucking bullshit. If she cheated on you, instead of leaving her, understand the fact that you lack something which the man she cheated on you with doesn't. Find out the error in yourself, apologize to her, say sorry to her, accept it and be a better man. She's innocent and you're not. Do better as a man. <laughs> Every time I ask you guys to send me trash tweets on Twitter, there's always at least one of these. It's astonishing how many women believe this, that they think that they can just get away with cheating and that it's the man's fault. Imagine a guy trying this. Imagine, you know, you just start sleeping with a bunch of women. It's like, you lack something, girl. You need to figure out what it is and you need to apologize to me and then everything will be okay. You would laugh because you would say, because uh, obviously these women just think that like, oh, men are only cheating for sport because they're bored or something like that. And then women wouldn't dare do something like that. They couldn't like they're a different fucking species or something. <laughs> it's like take some fucking responsibility. You cheated. You're a cheater. You're a piece of shit, trash human being. I don't deal with that. I would never put up with the, what the What is that, man? I would never put up with that shit. Now I know there's people that have been in relationships for a very long time and they want to try to work things out, but if your girl ever tries to come at you with that type of language, you fucking metaphorically drop kick the shit out of her, man. Like you fucking toss her to the goddamn curve. That shit is just so silly. Okay, that upset me a little bit and I don't want to end this episode like that, so I thought I would end with a tweet that's not trash. Uh, which is actually pure gold. Dog, I tell you, this one time I was on the Q train going up to East 72nd Street and this Dr. Octopus cocksucker tried to beat up on Spider-Man. I ain't fucking around, Joe Rogan. I stepped in front of him and said, if you want to get to him, you're going to have to go through me. <laughs> ah, I love you, Uncle Joey. Invite me to your podcast, please. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. Please like this video, it really helps with the algorithm. I'll, I'll talk to you soon.